Greetings! In this brief video, I'm going to show you how to use the Poodle Audio Tool within eClass. Poodle Audio Tool can be used anywhere you see a text box or within an assignment if it has been made available to you. For this example, I will use this in a forum. Click on your forum and select Add a New Discussion Topic. Give your forum a topic and add some text and click on a new line. From here you can click on the record audio button as shown above the text box. Please make sure that the blinking line here is inside the box so that the audio knows where to go after it is recorded. To record your audio click on the microphone as seen here. This box will appear with some simple steps. Record, stop, play, stop, upload, wait for uploaded successfully, or your recording will be lost, as an additional note, and then select insert. Those are the basic instructions for this tool. There's also more information that you can change your microphone and camera depending on the tool available to you. You'll see here a time mark or a time stamp, a record button, play button and an upload button in the same order as it is shown above. There's also the gear icon. Since this is the audio tool, you can change your audio input for this to be different depending on your computer. You might have several microphones or a headset attached. And for this example, I will use the one that is default to my computer there, the standard one. Select a small X as I'm using my headset to record this. I will select record and you can see as I go this time mark is counting up. When I am finished recording I will click stop. You will notice there is not a pause option. Every time you click the microphone button here you will restart your recording. This is an easy way to re-record your information if you have made a mistake or simply wish to add additional information you may have missed the first time. You will have to play your audio for any amount of time that you record. You do not have to listen to this in its entirety. You can see as I go. This is a way to preview your material and make sure that you are in fact uploading information you wish. Next, select Upload. You will see Uploaded Successfully appear, which means that it has uploaded successfully to the servers and will be inserted correctly. If you are not sure of your internet connection or have had a blip in your connection while you are recording, you can click the gear icon again and the settings have been changed. This is available to you regardless of your internet connection and you could always save this for posterity, and any other reason you may wish. You will click download recording and it will download a file to your computer of your recording. Click this small X again to leave this menu and to insert this into your post we will click insert. It will insert as this hyperlinked file in blue with .mp3 at the end. It is important to not change the file name as this will break the file and won't be inserted correctly. You can, however, add more text as you go, and even select it and press enter, tab over if you wish, and reset it as you most desire. I'm going to click post the forum to show you how this appears in eClass. You'll get your general warning up there. Click on topic to view this, and we will see the recorded audio here and be able to listen to it. You may download it again as an MP3 file instead of the web enhanced file. Thank you for watching.